What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we are going to be doing, I guess, a kind of sequel video. Um, about a week ago or so, I did a video where I reacted to Michael Knowles try to guess the woke feminist ads, and someone in the comments said that I should do his try to guess the woke white guilt ads video, which is kind of a similar video. Um, they're, you know, white guilt ads, and you have to guess what the ad is for, and it's probably going to be something completely unrelated in any way. Uh, so... Link to the original video down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and let's just jump right into it. All for seven on the woke commercials. And I've told the producers, I say, I want to get this right, so give me a clue, and then maybe I'll be able to. If he's over seven in this one, that means there must be at least one more. I'll react to that one after this one, maybe. To get it a little more correct. We've got two commercials here in the genre of white guilt. So they're specifically woke on the racial issues. Hopefully, that's going to narrow it down for me. I'll be able to guess what product these woke commercials are actually selling. At least one, I, I bet you at least one of them is going to be Adidas and one of them is going to be Volkswagen just because they were started by the Nazis. So I feel like they they would lean hard into that to try and like whitewash their past. Let's roll the tape. Okay. Could be a car, right? You see the the car there is very prominent, like a Mercedes or something. Oh yeah, that was, that's what always happens. White guys in elevators, just like your clothes. I hate, I don't want to be in an elevator with a black guy. Yeah. Yeah, man, white guys are so bad. <laughs> they want. Yeah. <laughs> what diner has assigned seating? Like, you just go to some diner in the middle of nowhere? I've never... Other than, like, high-end fancy restaurants, nowhere has assigned seating. Like, you just walk in, oh, there's an empty seat. You just go there. I've never in my life been to a diner where they had assigned seating, where like, you have to go in and get seated. And they, like, get out of pools because they don't like swimming with other, other people and stuff. That reminds me of the Bill Burr joke. Get out of the pool! <laughs> It looks. Okay. Gosh, I don't know. Like a, a wedding thing or a... Oh, this is definitely a judge. I guess a courtroom. It's gonna be a black judge. He's the judge, but you thought he wasn't the judge. You thought he was not respectable, but he is the judge. <laughs> education, I'm gonna say it's something with education. That's what it's selling. Let's talk about the look so we can see beyond it. Procter & Gamble. <laughs> what does Procter & Gamble even sell? I've heard that name before, but Procter and Gamble, manufacturing company. Okay, what do they manufacture? Um, Consumer Goods Corporation. But what do they make? It just says Consumer Goods. Images? Oh, okay, they own like Tide and shit. And Pampers. What the fuck? Why? Why? I really thought that was going to be a car commercial because they like showed the car at the start and I thought it was going to be like... Why? Not even close. I thought because the whole thing was ridiculous that, you know, basically every basically everyone's just really overtly mean and nasty to black people all the time in America. You know, that's that's totally what happens, right? Not that every single restaurant has like BLM, please, we love you, please, you know, no, no, it's not like that. Um, but I thought it had to be like an, because the education would have at least had some tie in, right? Because it's like, and then I became a judge. But, but no, it's Pro Procter and Gamble. No, no connection whatsoever. I'm gonna try one more. But as pain. Man, I am so fucking confused on that one. How? I, like, I thought it was going to be a car, because they showed the Mercedes or the BMW or whatever it was at the start. I'm not exactly sure, but they showed the car, and I was like, okay, this has got to be a car commercial, right? He's going to pull up in that car somewhere. 
people are going to be looking at him like, you can't afford that car. But no, it was just like, you know, suddenly he's a, a judge. And fucking, like, it was just all over the place. Like, I don't even get it. Painful as this experience is, watching these commercials, an even more painful experience is paying too much for cable. If you're fed up with paying 15%... Uh, so Fubo.tv uh, slash Knowles for his ad. ...off your first month by going to Fubotv.com slash Knowles. Now let's see if I can win this challenge to guess the woke commercials. I was so off on the Procter & Gamble thing. This one's a lot shorter than the other one. The other one was like five commercials. Four or five commercials. Are there any other? Can I get any other hints? No? No other hints. Okay. Roll the tape. I will pay extra close attention. I will turn my leftist woke radar on to pick up on all the little details. What is it? Who said that? The lady at the store. That is not a compliment. It's an ugly, nasty word, and you are going to hear it. Nothing I can do about that. But you are not going to let that word hurt you. Why is everyone dressed what, like the 50s? Word, I guess. Yeah, Jody. <clears throat> yeah, that's why. Why was everyone dressed like the 50s and yet the cars are from like the 70s and 80s? Like that, that was the first thing that I noticed. It like the, the fashion and the, the cars don't mix. What happens all the time, right? White people just always calling black guys the N-word all the time. No. The only time you actually hear the N-word, by the way, is in rap music. But I'm a good driver. Yeah, that's it. Overt, horrible this racist. This about you getting a ticket? This is about you not coming home. Oh, yeah, racist cops just uh, slaughter innocent black people all over the country. You know that. Of course, that's what always happens. Okay. I mean, statistically, it doesn't. You it happens like, like a dozen times. You are beautiful. Period. Unarmed. And unarmed, by the way, doesn't okay. even mean not justified, but point for another time. I'll never forget that. Let's talk about the talk. Ra all right, so. That ad showed literally nothing for anything other than, like, Obviously, it was going through the generations, but half of them didn't make sense. There was one where they were wearing clothing from, like, the 1950s, but it's all cars from, like, the 70s and 80s. Um, and then somehow it led into, like, p police brutality. I, I have no fucking idea, man. This one... What products do we see? We saw cars, we saw clothing. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's going to be like AT&T or some shit. Racist cops. Uh, uh, the Procter and Gamble. Again? What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Bro, what, who does the commercials for them? Oh, my God. Well, again, uh, I should have guessed that because it's just like there was no tie-in to, to any, like, company there. There was no tie-in to any product. Procter and Gamble. What does Procter & Gamble have to do with any of that? Do you guys have any idea? No? I literally had to Google what they made. Like, yeah, seriously, what does, like, fucking Tide Pods have to do with that? You know what it was? The person making that video was fucking munching on Tide Pods while they were making that video. That's the problem. What the hell? I, I don't even know. Did they even show their product once? Any of them? Like, there, there's no, like, fucking somebody washing the clothes or fucking... You know, doing the dishes, you know, nothing. No, not at all. Not not at all. Okay, well, that wasn't fair. Because I just assumed, I was like, well, this is like a similar commercial, but it, it couldn't be the same company. So it is, that's not fair. I'm, I guess I'm 0 for 9, but I'm going to count that as like 0 for 8 and a half. <laughs> Try again next time. Send in, send in your woke commercials. I want, before I end this series, I want to get one of them right. So just please send in your commercial. Make it a little easier next time. Hopefully I can figure it out. At this point, if you want to get one right, just keep guessing Procter and Gamble. What the fuck was that, though? <laughs> Seriously. Like, the first one, you got this, like, black dude who's, you know, walking down the street with his son. You think it might be a car commercial because they're, like, looking up the fucking... They're looking at that car on the street, you know, whatever kind of car it is. Um, then, all you know, this white guy is, like, not wanting to listen to the black waitress at a diner when they have assigned seating for some reason, even though diners don't have assigned seating. Um, you can tell whoever made that commercial has never been to a diner in their fucking life. Uh, they probably think that shit's for peasants. Why would I go there? Um, and then all of a sudden he's in a pool with his daughter and he's like teaching her how to swim and just like fucking staring off at, at people. Um, and then somehow it's Procter and Gamble. And then he, then he's a judge and then it's Procter and Gamble. 
And then the next one's like generation after generation. And, and still the fit the fifties and the seventies mix up one really bugs me, but how bro, just how? This shit makes no sense. I'm gonna have to I, I'm gonna react to more of these and see if I can get any of them right. Because so far, I think I got the last one I had like three or four, and I got none of them right. This one I got none of them right. Um those might be the worst ones yet, though. At least the other ones, like, the the woke feminist ones, you could kind of, sort of see how they spun it to be what it was on some of them. It, they were really cringe, but, like, in, in a weird way, you could kind of understand it. But these ones are just, like, no correlation to the product at all. Like, what the hell was that? But anyway, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.